Bakit wala nagre-reply sa inyo sa online jobs page or virtual staff page? So, siguro nag-wonder kayo bakit ang dami kong pinasang application wala nagre-reply sa akin. In this video, you will find out. Hello everyone! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home base story kung saan lagi tayo nagsishare ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home. Kaya naman kung bago kayo dito sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, so guys, for the, for today's video, very quick lang to. Um, I recently found out why most clients do not reply or alam mo yun, parang nag-ghost kayo sa online jobs page. Recently kasi, uh, my client had to hire a new VA so, we had to post a job posting sa online jobs page. So, nag na ako doon. I signed up um, using my client's, you know, information para makapag-post ng job. And you can actually create a free client account. Ngayon, pag free yung client account mo, pwede kang mag-post ng job. Kaya pala ang dami nilang post doon. But the thing is, kapag halimbawa may nag-apply sa job post na yon hindi siya nakikita ng client unless they pay for the subscription. So, ang subscription kasi ni Online Jobs PH na na-mention ko na before is $69 per month. Per month. So, medyo mataas siya, guys. And, kung kagaya kayo ng client ko na isa lang talaga yung hinahanap niya, you know, na personnel or assistant, then you wouldn't really want to spend that much kung hindi rin naman ganun karami yung nag-apply. Kasi yung nag-post kami ng job sa Online Jobs PH, it's only 3 applicants. Tapos, makikita mo dun yung kanilang yung skills nila, yung ID proof nila, except for their name and their contact info. So, hindi mo sila mamimessage. Hindi mo makikita yung pangalan nila. But you can see like their information, their photo, ayan. So, that's why for those three who applied to my client's job post, hindi talaga namin na-reach out or na-reply yan. Kasi, kailangan nga ng subscription. And my client, although willing naman siyang magbayad, sa subscription, he didn't think na, you know, it's worth it for just three resumes na hindi mo pa sure kung um, they're gonna be fit for the job, ba? Unless siguro yung client sobrang daming nag-apply sa job post and sobrang, alam mo yon feeling niya nandun yung hinahanap niya. That's the only time that they're gonna pay for the subscription ni Online Jobs PH which is $69. Alam mo yun, if you're looking for a personnel, hindi lang naman isa yung pagpo-postan mo. Magpo-post ka rin, syempre, sa ibang, iba't ibang portals like Indeed, Glassdoor, Virtual Staff, PH. Actually, marami kami pinag-postan and most of them are in Facebook. Now, the thing is, if you're hiring Filipino workers, most of them are already in Facebook. So, si Facebook, syempre, alam naman nating lahat na kapag nag-post ka sa groups, join ka lang, wala namang fian libre. And given the history na nakakapag-hire naman siya ng magigandang quality ng VA sa Facebook, he wanted to try it first. And yun nga, may nakita na siya sa Facebook na perfect fit for the job. So, ang nangyari, similar to Online Jobs PH, Yung mga nag-apply sa virtual staff, I think we had more than 20 applications in virtual staff that we were not able to respond to. Aww. Na, personally, I feel bad kasi I've been on the receiving end of that application tapos wala ko na-receive. That's why I, I wanted to share with you this video, this information na um, the reason why you're not getting any responses from online jobs PH or virtual staff PH is because that client was not willing to pay the premium or the subscription na ino offer ni OLJ or ni Virtual Staff PH. So that's good and bad for us in both ways. Good siya kasi ibig sabihin kapag may nagreply sa inyo, then that client is a paying client. Hindi kayo basa-basa masascam kasi nagbayad sila. Pag may nagreply sa inyo, ibig sabihin may subscription sila sa either Virtual Staff PH or Online Jobs PH. But bad for us, kasi syempre, diba? Um, like for online jobs page, you only have up to 10 applications that you can submit in a day. And paano kung yung 10 pala na yun is nag-submit ka ng application but they're all not paying clients. So, wasted effort, diba? Those are just my two cents. Like I said, very quick video lang today. So, I hope 
this video helps and kung may question pa kayo sa isip nyo, feel free to share it below. Um, if you think or if you know someone who had been down or depressed dahil hindi sila nakakuha ng reply from online jobs or virtual staff PH or any other online platforms, you know, just let them know it's not your fault. It's not because the client didn't want you or the, the client is not interested in your skills or hindi kayo magaling. Isipin nyo na lang na nung, yung client na yun, hindi siya willing mag-pay ng premium for the subscription. For a number of reasons, hindi dahil lang ayaw nila magbayad or scam sila or something. But like I said, like my client, ayaw niya lang siyang ma-charge kasi yun nga, tatlo lang yung nag-apply. So sometimes it's not worth it for a business, in a business perspective. Ayun. So there you go guys. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys again for another work from home video or earn from home video next week. Bye. <laughs>